Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, Takia, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and get started right away. Awesome. Well, everybody, I just want to thank you for being here and whomever is, is listening to this message and will be listening to this message. Um, you know, JC and I and just in, in, in how we, we like to do things is always just by the spirit of God and what he tells us to do. That's mostly what our conversations are based off of. Um, you know, so if, you know, we're very creative and so we'll, we'll say, hey, let's do this or let's do that. But it's always taken back to the father to be refined, you know, um, and, you know, then he, he will fine tune things. And that's exactly what he did for um, this message that we wanted to bring today, this encouragement that we wanted to bring to everybody today. And it just really was through the lens and the refinement of, of God. And we're just strictly weakened, humble vessels that are laying before him. And we're just completely open to be used to pour out the spirit of God. But we are so excited um, about uh, this month's uh, message and it is uh, pursuing freedom. And again, that was chosen because there's, there's a lot of freedom um, that, that we need to take in from every avenue, right? We're, we're fighting for a lot. And we know that in the kingdom, it's a, it's a big responsibility, but we know that we're fighting for freedom in a lot of avenues. We're fighting for our family. We're fighting for our faith. We're fighting for our community. We're fighting for justice. We're fighting for our dreams of our children over our, our finances. Uh, we're, we're, we're fighting for a lot, um, but we're fighting for freedom in a lot of those things. And um, the Bible tells us where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And so we, we just invite you to come in um, and tune in with us and just be a part of the spirit of the Lord, um, because all we are doing is we are just allowing him to use us in this moment. Yes, we have prepared because, you know, hey, we, we had to do that. But whatever God has us do is what he has us do in this moment. And we just want to thank him for that. Lord God, we thank, thank you, you for your freedom. We thank you for, for, for the unction and the fire for us to be able to pursue our freedom, Lord God, a, a, even around controversy, even around distraction, Lord God, our eyes are set on you, our eyes are, are set on things that are above and not beneath, Lord God, and we thank you that, that we have the fight of faith, Lord God, that we are strong and we are mighty, Lord God, to fight this good fight. And, and that, that is just truly where our hearts are. And we just thank you, God, for that. And we love your word. And we are ready. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready for, for whatever it is that you have for us, Lord God. And we thank you. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh -huh. And JC, did you want to add anything before we proceeded? No, I just wanted to uh, just tell everybody that this is a great opportunity for us to just be in a line in the kingdom yes. freedom. The kingdom freedom. Kingdom freedom. That is so awesome. And I'm so thrilled to, to be a part of this movement. Oh, I just get, I get so excited. But I, I'm going to share my screen right now. We're just going to hop right in. Um, you know, and, and this is just some things that I, you know, that God laid on my heart. And I said, and I, I said, Lord, my mind is always so busy with creativity and ideas. Just Lord, guide me to, to put it on paper. I, I wish that I could, you know, have have a, a screen in my mind to actually show people sometimes what I'm actually thinking. <laughs> but yeah. right, you know, thank God for technology and thank God for, you know, minimal skills and talents for us to put together something for 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 us to show you guys what what we are what what we want to do. Um, let me see here. So I want to try to share my screen. Give me a minute here. Um, host, oh, disabled participant. Okay, can you, are you able to allow me to share my screen? I think we can enable that possibly. Thinking my tea here. Let me see if I can do that. 
And if not, I can email it over to you if we need to work around that technical issue. You think that might be best? Try now. Okay, let's see. Oh, yay. Awesome, okay. And I'm going to share and give me one. And you guys can see my screen, right? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. Okay. I No, I don't want to record my slideshow, but I want to. Yes, this is what I want to do. Perfect. So pursuing right. freedom. Um, it's just this. I, would, I even want to just talk about this photo for a second because just me personally, I love to hike. Um, and if anybody, you know, knew me, um, you know, you can, you know, follow my social media. You can see that, you know, I'm always excited about um, what God says to me and how he speaks to me um, in ways of when you're doing something hard and in, when in ways when you don't want to do it, but you know that it is good for you. Um, and it's such a beautiful thing because I said, wow, Lord, you always speak to me when I'm on this hike. I just, I just know that you're going to give me a word when I'm doing this hard thing. And the spirit just, I mean, he immediately answered and he said, you know, you're at a point in your life where that's really where you're going to hear me the clearest. Not that he's not going to speak to me, you know, in, in, in anything else. But this is where you're really going to hear me the clearest is when you're doing the hard things. And that just speaks to, you know, going from glory to glory and just, you know, just maturing uh, in the spirit and maturing in the things that God wants you to pursue. Um, and those things are, you know, they're on an incline and those things are, are pursued uh, in a hard way where our physical body just doesn't want to do it and so this this picture just stood out to me in that way because that's exactly what pursuing when you pursue something right you know that you're, that you're chasing something and that it's 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 hard to get right right and just going right into it um pursuing god so of course in pursuing freedom right mm -hmm. the very very first thing is we want to pursue god Hallelujah. Right. We know that to seek, seek thee first the kingdom of God and all things will be added unto you. That is what his word tells us. God is at the center of any and everything that we do. And to be whole, he, he is where it, it starts. He's where he, he's where it starts your mental toughness, where you want to pursue your family, which is the next pillar, where you want to pursue your health pursuing your finances and pursuing your dreams. And those are just to name a few. Um, and that just goes to show that this is just something that we want to have a balance in. Um, but we know that pursuing God is exactly that. I want to share with you guys, and, I, and this is Psalm 139. This literally is one of my favorite scriptures. I basically read it every day, and I do want to read it the entire thing um, because this is pursuing God, but it, it shows just a beautiful, the beautiful relationship that we have with him. Um, so we thank you, God, for your word. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my my going and my laying my going out and my laying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, right? In Othum, if I make my bed in hell, you are there. If I rise mm -hmm. on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your hand will hold me fast. If I say surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for the darkness Hallelujah. is light to you. Thank, thank you, you, Heavenly you. Father. We thank you, God, for that. 
uh, let me move this over here. Sorry, for you created my innermost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. This little thing is bothering me here. My frame was not hidden from you when I made, uh, when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All mm. the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How mm. precious, how precious are your thoughts to me, oh God. How vast are the sum of them. Where I, were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. If mm. only God, you would slay the wicked away from me. You who are bloodthirsty, they speak of you eat with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I mm. not hate those who hate you, Lord, and abhor those who are rebelling against you? I have nothing but hatred uh, for them. I count them my enemies. Mm -hmm. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Yes, See please. if there is any offensive way in me yeah. and lead me in the way of everlasting that is lord, i thank you for your hear. word i thank that you is. for your word um lord god and i and i just wanted to highlight uh really one of the one of the uh, most precious verses in here in this scripture is if i say surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me even if the dark the dark is like night to you and i say that because you know, even in the place that we are in, in, in our society right now, um, it's just, it's waves of darkness that people intend to be in or powers try to put us in. But mm -hmm. we know that our father can see through the darkness and he can see through the Ooh, lies. And, and even if we try to go into the darkness for protection, because that's natural human instinct is we feel safe in in a dark place which is crazy but we we think that way we can't go anywhere that he won't find us yes yes hallelujah there is so much freedom in yes. that Ooh, that I can I can't go anywhere, Lord, where you can't find me. Even Thank if you. I hide myself in a dark place, darkness is as light to you. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. thank you, God, for that freedom. Yes. I thank you, God, for that freedom. Vast are your thoughts towards me, Lord God. They outnumber the grains of the sand. I mm -hmm. thank you, God, that I am free. I am, I, I'm in freedom to know that you are constantly thinking of me. Oh, God. Oh, That's freedom to know that we are constantly on his mind. So we yes, thank you, God, for your word. We, we receive your word and we receive your spirit, Lord God. But we know that we know that in pursuing freedom, it is coming into the knowledge of God and it's coming into the knowledge of who we know God has called us to be and what he thinks in us. And I know my personal story, even before Takia knew to who Takia was, right? Because there's always a constant, you know, something constantly evolving with, within me, right? Within us to know, oh, wow, well, I wasn't the same that I was last week, right? I don't know everything about myself, but to come into the knowledge that God knows everything about me. Mm -hmm. So here's the key. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Here's the key. If he already knows everything about me and I'm in constant pursuit of me, right, of that freedom, where, where do I go to get the answers? Because no one else knows my all but God. No one. No one else knows my all. So if I'm pursuing that freedom, and, and my entire identity has already been written by him. He 